It may sound completely unbelievable at first, but scientists believe that there's a real chance of China of controlling the global, and with certainty, their local weather in possibly dangerous ways. This isn't just a conspiracy among scientists of other nations. The ability to change weather and this having already been performed, has actually officially been publicly announced by Chinese media and its leading scientists. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you where China is officially using their new weather changing technologies, how this actually works in the first place, and finally, what this could mean on both a national and a global scale if China has been using this to influence the temperature, whether it rains or possibly even influence catastrophic events such as tornadoes. It sounds as though it came straight out of a cartoon. But China, has had one of the most advanced weather modification programs in the world for decades. Its objectives have been modest in general. More rain in parched areas, less field-destroying hail, and bright days for major national events. However, that modesty is beginning to wear thin. China revealed intentions earlier this month to increase its rainmaking capacity to cover about 60% of the country by 2025. Although details are scarce, concerns are growing regarding potential military applications of these capabilities, as well as their impact on an already changing environment. These problems must be addressed as quickly as possible for China and the rest of the globe. According to a statement from the Chinese government, China will have a developed weather modification system by 2025, thanks to breakthroughs in fundamental research and key technologies, as well as improvements in comprehensive prevention against safety risks, in the hopes of calming the masses following widespread outrage on Chinese and non-Chinese social media. A few months ago, 16 artificial rain enhancement rockets were launched 300 kilometers south of Beijing from the back of a pickup truck. The Juya County Meteorological Bureau ordered the operation in response to a local drought, and it was said to be a success. Over the following 24 hours, the county got more than two inches of rain, alleviating the drought, reducing the risk of forest fires and improving air quality, according to local officials. In the next five years, the total area covered by artificial rain or snowfall will exceed 5.5 million square kilometers, with hail suppression technology covering about 580,000 kilometers. The initiative will also assist with disaster assistance, agricultural output, emergency responses to forest and grassland fires, and dealing with exceptionally high temperatures or droughts, according to the release. China has historically attempted to manipulate the weather in order to preserve farming regions and assure clean skies for important occasions. For example, it planted clouds ahead of the 2008 Beijing Olympics to minimize pollution and avoid rain. Because to weather modification and the closing down of adjacent facilities, key political gatherings in China's capital are known for having lovely clean sky. Cloud seeding has been around for decades as an idea. Small quantities of silver iodide are injected into clouds with a lot of moisture, which subsequently condenses around the new particles, growing heavier and finally dropping as precipitation. Cloud seeding can enhance snowfall across a large region if the atmospheric circumstances are appropriate, according to a study financed by the U.S. National Science Foundation and published earlier this year. The research was one of the first to prove conclusively that cloud seeding worked, as it had previously been impossible to discern cloud seeding precipitation from normal snowfall. Despite the uncertainties, China continued to invest extensively in the technology, spending over $1.34 billion on various weather manipulation initiatives between 2012 and 2017. While other countries, including the United States, have invested in cloud seeding, China's enthusiasm has caused concern, particularly in neighboring India, where agriculture is heavily reliant on the monsoon, which has already been disrupted and has become less predictable as a result of climate change. India and China recently clashed over their shared, and bitterly contested, Himalayan border, with the two sides clashing for the first time in decades earlier this year. Given the importance of weather to any military operations in the difficult Himalayan area, some in India have hypothesized for years that weather modification may offer China an advantage in a future battle. Weather modification helped minimize 70% of hail damage in China's western region of Xinjiang, a crucial agricultural area, according to state news agency Xinhua last year. Though Beijing's weather manipulation appears to be mostly domestic in nature, 
Experts have cautioned that it might have an influence beyond the country's boundaries. It's no question that a lot of good can be done by having the ability to control the weather both in terms of supporting people who depend on good weather, and people which are suffering due to natural disasters such as floods or tornadoes. The question is rather, whether or not China, or any other nation for that matter would resist the urges to quietly influence other countries' weather to give themselves any sort of advantage compared to them. Researchers from National Taiwan University said last year that the lack of effective coordination of weather modification activities might lead to accusations of rain stealing between adjacent regions, both inside China and with foreign nations. They also cited the lack of a system of checks and balances to help with the execution of potentially contentious initiatives. In China, there is no debate or public discussion about the scientific evidence and political basis for weather modification. Furthermore, opposing perspectives seldom question the leadership's proclivity for technical involvement in controlling various weather systems. Some analysts believe that success in weather manipulation might inspire China to pursue more extensive geoengineering initiatives, especially as the government grapples with climate change's consequences. Radical ideas like seeding the atmosphere with reflecting particles may potentially help lower temperatures, but they could also have huge unintended consequences, and many scientists are concerned about what would happen if a government tried them. According to Donasri Jiyaram, a climate specialist from the Manipal Academy of Higher Education in Karnataka, India, without regulation, one country's actions might influence neighboring countries. While China has not yet demonstrated a willingness to deploy large-scale geoengineering schemes to combat the effects of climate change and meet its Paris targets, the scale of its weather modification and other massive engineering projects, such as mega dam projects, such as the Three Gorges, suggests China is willing to do so. Despite the fact that China joined the pact in 2005, its interest in weather and environmental management has not waned. Hail and flooding caused by natural disasters account for more than 70% of the country's yearly disaster-related damage. The administration has bet its credibility in part on how successfully it reacts to similar occurrences as a result of the ongoing toll. As the country has become wealthy in recent decades, earth-altering projects like the Three Gorges Dam have become popular. By comparison, weather modification is a comparatively low-cost option. The government began investing heavily in cloud physics and related disciplines in the 1980s. Advances in everything from satellites to rocketry aided the endeavor, despite the fact that solid scientific confirmation of cloud seeding's efficiency did not come until 2018. And in Idaho, not China. Despite this, the authorities claimed a major victory in 2008, when Beijing fired 1,110 purportedly rain-suppressing rockets to keep the Olympic opening ceremonies dry. Rainmaking and hail suppression projects have been established in 30 Chinese provinces by 2015, employing 35,000 workers. For the time being, the Convention on Environmental Modification is the only international accord that comes close to addressing such problems. However, the convention only applies to hostile changes, not the peaceful adjustments that China and other countries will undoubtedly claim if challenged. Making weather manipulation a part of the climate change conversation is one approach to get around this difficulty. In the sense that technology is being utilized to mitigate the harmful consequences of global warming, it is already being done. Future discussions on the subject, however, should avoid unilateral measures. Instead, they should promote international cooperation on weather modification, including data exchange. It will be difficult to persuade China and others to disclose their technology and objectives. However, unless the world addresses this impending problem, it may face some black skies in the future. So what is your opinion on nations or people having the ability to globally change the weather? Do you believe that because of the dangers which are involved in having such power, this should be treated similar to nuclear weapons, or do you think that having the ability to do things such as supporting poor farmers which are struggling due to bad weather outweighs the bad? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.